too many attempts. Ugh. I've tried to do my intro about three or four times. I keep stumbling over my words today and I keep forgetting to talk about the things I want to talk about at the moment. Right. Let's try it again. <laughs> so, I've installed two mods and one of them is the craftable keyring mod. So we have keyring, yay! So it's no more I don't have a keyring because it's CDDA anymore, which is fantastic. And secondly, I want to say a thank you to Tyranid Lord 556 for recommending the proximity inventory mod, which I have set up to only work on zombie corpses. You can enable it to work on everything, but I've got it just for zombie corpses. Like I can click this and I can toggle it off, you know, or I can toggle it on if I wanted, but I have just set it for zombies so I can try and have my storage set up smart. That's that's the plan anyway. But if I come over here and I pause the game, as you can see, that is up there and all the zombie inventories are here. If I click that, left click that, it brings up every single item on every single zombie that I am stood on. Look, they've all turned green. So I can loot what I want straight away. He did recommend the auto loot mod as well, but honestly, I don't want to get stuck in a looting animation. Uh, I don't know if that happens or whether you press a button to make it loot. I, I just, I didn't want to risk doing that to myself so i haven't bothered but yeah that is what i will be using from now on so i can gather books more efficiently and it's going to help me a lot in the long run it's going to be really really good also i have been working on our character our weight has started climbing back up which is nice our skills i've been doing a lot more fitness because i've been trying to do farming i've grown some carrots i've got about 2000 experience in carrots and now I'm going back onto the cabbages. Then also I was an idiot in the last episode. And we have here steel pipes and plastic pipes. Because it turns out there was a pallet of plastic pipes and a, two pallets of steel pipes down at the other base. Which I completely forgot about. So yeah. Then I made a leather sandbag in anticipation for this episode. Then I forgot I made a leather sandbag. I made another one over here. So we've got a punching bag stand, which is very, very cool. But we are skill locked with that because we need to make a cotton gym towel. And in order to do that, we need seven farming to plant cotton. And also we are skill locked with another thing. If we go on to craft a helper here, biogas collector needs seven farming as well also we are stuck with empty blue barrel i don't know where to get one of those from i can't think of a location that actually has empty blue barrels i know like mccoy and stuff like that has the the normal sort of barrels but i can't recall anywhere that has blue barrels so if somebody knows please let me know I know you can get them from the medium junkyard, but obviously we are stuck without the wire textbook. We can't advance to medium junkyard. If we got the wire textbook and we upgraded this to medium junkyard, we would be absolutely fine. And we could find an empty blue barrel in time and build this thing up. But yeah, for the moment we are very, very stuck. Because as you can see here, you can make biogas. So you can fill up a propane tank and it uses compost. Or you can use the raw compost from the the um, farming table that you get, which is whatever. Um, then, alternatively, if we... Mm, I'm not sure about this one. Where are we? Uh, if we look here, yep, this one. Composter. So this is farming 10, mechanics 1. This is the next thing we want to build after that. And this basically accelerates the composting process so i believe this is how you get the compost from the other bench so this thing is second the second most important thing then obviously we've got punching bag stands which we can do but i'm holding off on and what else we can make valves now if we wanted to but i don't think we need any more of those 
Uh, we could make a dissection table again. But again, I don't think we we really need those. Then what else? What else do we need? Industrial press. I think we're way off that one. Wow, that requires some ingredients, doesn't it? Blooming neck. Arc furnace as well. Yeah, it needs a generator. Oof, everything needs a generator. That's the problem. I don't know whether it's medium or large junkyard you get the generator from. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it to start with. Then obviously it's battery array and we need Popular Machines Volume 1, which I'm hoping to get as well. But yeah, very, 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 very book locked. So I think I need to go back down to our other base after these crops have come in and I'm going to start setting up down there. And thanks to our new inventory mod thing, hopefully be able to efficiently farm the zombies. I will just pull books and electricals off them and then hop back over. So it's going to be good. So I'm going to have to do that off camera and I hopefully bring you back with some progress. Yeah. See you in a tick. You know what? Scratch all that. We're not doing that. We are going to build more bridge. Yes. I want to go to the warehouse at the north of town. And I think that will be a good loot source, I hope. Because it's got plenty of crates in there. I mean, we can clear out the area. We can cheese the system. We can enter from the second level and whatnot and then just have to worry about the stairs claim the upstairs and whatnot and do it that way if we wish or we can just put a simple barrier on our bridge and let them come up to the edge of the bridge whichever i decide to do there is uh, a viable way of doing it which is nice so now i'm just gonna go build a bridge yeah just need to find out where the road is and apologies if you can hear my son in the background is being a noisy little boy <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it so we're gonna head up northward we're gonna make it three wide again so yeah i'm probably gonna end up chopping more trees yet again you know for a change it seems to be all i'm doing but i'm hoping that this will actually give us um 10 carpentry i'm hoping because then we can make a, a hunting blind at that point, which would be very nice. But yeah, I have uh, also got rid of most of the tools and the crap and everything that has been in this backpack for far too long. So now I can actually, you know, do things a little bit more proper and we can start getting some sort of uh, thingy some sort of semblance of uh organization right now where do i want to be i want to probably be here really yeah if it'll allow no it won't because too many planks that's enough stop thank you there we go one there one there one there and off we go this is so unbelievably unnerving i've had so much bad luck with god bridges in the past and building and things like that um i've resorted to doing a single line to start with because i've not got enough planks to make it all the way up to the other end of the blooming city i might have enough uh, nails but definitely not enough planks so i'm gonna have to go and chop a lot of wood after this because i believe this is the last lot i have and we are nowhere near I will show you where we are in a moment. I will just finish off using these. And there we go. We've actually hit 10 carpentry doing this. Wow, that's uh, impressive. Wow. And now at least we can build a hunting blind. So that's something good. Uh, yeah, we are here. We are at, yeah there <sighs> we've got a way to go let's have a look on the map my god we've got to get to there up there i think it's that uh the, there was an annotated map says something there as well but that is 
the distance we've covered. So we're about a third. Oh no, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Right, let's uh, let's use walk to command. I'm not doing this normally. Hell no, hell no. Far too scared for that business. Right, pick you up, put you in the backpack, please, and we'll head back. Oh, I hate this. It is so unnerving. Ooh, don't like it. <laughs> Especially when the noise keeps happening. Oh, it's so bad. But we've made it. Oh, back onto the three wide bit. I feel a bit safer now. Thank goodness for that. Right. Yeah, I think it's going to be... Yeah, chop a load of wood. And try this again. Or I might even just make a hunting blind. We need to go back anyway. The character's absolutely knackered. I think she's been up for about four or five days now. Yeah, completely exhausted. Understandably. But... We have spied a few motors in the area, so there's a fair few over here, near this thing, which is interesting. I'm hoping to find some others very shortly, but yeah, as you can tell, the three wide strip didn't last for very long until I went to the singular, because uh, it is resource intensive, it really is. Like I say, we're good because we're in a massive wooded area at our base, and I'm hoping that most of the zombies are out of the tree line because I had a little incident earlier chopping trees. One jumped out at me and I nearly fell off my chair and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is gonna be it now. More wood, more tree chopping. Great stuff. And before I continue with anything else, I figured I am going to make this hunting blind now, actually. I would like it. I would like to try it out, see if it increases our success chance whilst using spears. Uh, so there it is. That's what it looks like. Skadoosh, one of them. And what can we do with it? We anchor it. Okay. Uh, right. Let's pick our proper hunting spot then. I think around here is pretty cool. We could have all the hunting and the killing and everything together there. So I will pop it there as well. Let's pop it in the bag first. Again, still haven't looked after the character. I just wanted to get this done straight away. And I think if it drops where I am stood, that will be fantastic. So if I bob it here, then we can right click it. And oh, we don't need to anchor it. Do we? Do we not need to anchor it? Darn, it got away. Oh, right. So it's not saying that it's too hard. I bagged one. Hey. Hey, we got one. Oh, that's cool. That is so good. Yes. Wonderful. Right. So the hunting blind is basically just made everything viable. Awesome. Oh, look at that. What can we do with the deer hide other than dry it? Just dry it. Yeah, okay. Then more lard, more intestines, more bones, which are uh, fantastic food. But you can also come over to your carpentry bench and you can turn them into... Uh, where is it? Huh? I thought it was... Oh, yeah. Oh, I need a hand chisel. Hand chisel and carpentry bench and you can make the bone buttons and then you can use those buttons with a cowhide to make the cowhide top that I've got on. Oh, been out a while and these cabbages just don't seem to have done anything. Right, the lard, um, I don't know what to do with it, because I don't think we're quite able to make tallow yet, are we? Because you can do some interesting things with that. Let's have a look. If I stand there, I should be within the range of everything needed to make tallow. Yes, there we go, right. So make some tallow, then we should be able to make candles. So it's just thin rope for that. Okay. Then I'm guessing I can put the candle in a candle holder and have a light source. Sweet. Okay. Then let's dry this hide. And is there anything we can do with it? No, it is literally just one of those to turn into dried fur, but you get six. So we can line hide or we can cut leather strips, etc, etc, turn it into leather. 
that is absolutely fantastic but for now that can go in there and the intestine um cooking level five and you need a meat grinder oh there's the thing do we have a meat grinder no we don't it's not being selected whilst moving past the cooking stuff right so we're gonna have to work on that in the future as well i think and will you drop on the floor and you uh we'll we'll cook this venison and probably eat it no i don't want to wash myself i just want to fill my drink there we go and wash all the clothing right let's cook the venison in the oven outside here numb it up and then we can have a sleep because we definitely need it right so there we go let that cook through boom <laughs> wonderful ah some nice venison mm. definitely a hearty meal after building that blooming bridge uh thankfully i have still got some wood in storage so i think i chopped about 600 logs worth of uh wood from trees in total it was somewhere around there i did a, a very large stint of it uh for example if i was to zoom out this area is a lot clearer over there has been tapered off a bit back there has been done and up around here as well as towards the entrance way a bit i've been trying to cut it all back and get some real distance between us and the zombies because i want this place zombie free now i want the other one to be full of zombies we can fight all the zombies over there that's not a problem i just want this area to be zombie free so yeah right let's uh let's have a look right can i make pallets yes i can make four more there that's wonderful so if i just prep this up and get it ready uh okay equip in both hands and we want i could this is where i could do with actually activating that i might do it you know it'll be easier because some of these have got like wood beams and stuff some haven't some have it's all over the place uh another four yeah still got room for another one yep yeah we've got eight in there so far so definitely a fair few and we've got four more on the ground which we can take all of those and we can take that lumber stack and we can take the three spare wow uh 165 out of 200 that's fantastic and we're not overburdened fully that is wonderful so for now we will just dump these onto the floor like so then drop our forklift as well and then we can have a nice little sleep and i'll continue on with the building oh uh, you know what after i've done this i've just realized i need to chop wood again after the bridge is completed i still need more wood because we've got our science experiment to look at down at the other base i completely forgot about that i want to test an idea see if it works it could kill us you never know but it will be an interesting experiment honestly and it may crash and lag the game i don't know <laughs> i'm looking forward to it either way so yeah lots more wood cutting what is it with all the zombies and the white cowboy hats why is there so many? Are they popular in America? I don't know. Huh. Very strange. Very strange. Oh, this is so scary. I didn't know where the edge was because of these lumber stacks in the way. My God. Oh, I hate this. I don't like it being one wide. I know I'm just moaning. I'm just a little moany beef. But <laughs> it's spooky scary. I don't like it. I don't. I told you I've had lots of... Lots of bad experiences with God bridging and the noise. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's definitely going to be one of those days, definitely. But like I say, I'm just going to keep building and building. Whoa, am I out of planks? I think I am. Uh, building and building, and hopefully we can get there. I don't know whether or not this is going to be enough. I just, I really hope it is. Right, let's unpack one of those then we want to drop you and you and we want to unpack all three of those drop the ropes put those in our backpack 
and in our inventory. Oh, and then walk to again, because I don't trust it any other way. I'm too silly. I'll walk off the edge. Right, wooden floor. I just hope we've got enough nails, honestly. That's the big concern now. Because it's like, yeah, this is really cool and everything. We can branch off to a lot of locations, but my god, it's going to take forever. I just don't want to fall to my death, honestly. It's super scary. Super annoying. Super back and forth, but... It is what it is. Now then, question is... Do you guys Godbridge or not? Do you do this tactic? If not, what do you do instead? Do a lot of you actually even play on the CDDA difficulty? Or do you prefer to have a sandbox experience? Do you have respawning zombies? Or do you just have a... A static population. I'd like to know. I'd like to know what each year playstyles are, honestly. Because with it being such a, a big game and having so many mods, there's plenty of different options and plenty of different playstyles. And it would be nice to uh, learn other people's tactics instead of just relying on my seasoned go-tos, you know what I mean? Because everybody has a go-to tactic. It's like my usual one is to build on water, but I did that last time and I didn't want to do it this time. I wanted to avoid water as much as possible because, like I say, it's one of my go-tos and I want to do something different. So, yeah, let me know your your tactics, your playstyles, your world settings. It'd be interesting to know, honestly. So, like, in future, I could cater to somebody else's playstyle. That could be an interesting thing for myself and for all you guys. So, yeah, just, just let me know. Let me know. We're just coming on to about halfway on this journey, and I'm still absolutely terrified about doing this. I hate it. I really do. I just hope the warehouse has actually got something useful and it's worth doing all this. It probably would have, you know, I mean, it's generally a good area to go to. Not on CDDA because it's just absolutely rampant with Zeds, but any other time it's good. So I'm hoping that it will have maybe an auger or two that would be out of this world, honestly. Um, we could do with, like I say, a blue barrel. And I believe it would have a chance of spawning in that location, which would be, again, out of this world. We definitely want those two items more than anything else. And all I'm doing is this. Just walk up to it, tap F6. Walk up to it, tap F6. Walk up to it, tap F6. Ah, like that. I know some people like to use F4. I just F6 after the movement has stopped. Like as soon as the hammer moves up, you just go buff like that. Done. Oh, the amount of Zeds under me at the minute is frightening. I'm I'm thinking of doing a law on this bridge later on. Get every Zed off the street, try and pull them to the base. I mean, it would be good to have more God Bridges around, because like I say, we can do bigger laws, we can get more zombies. And if my little science experiment does work, then it'll be pretty entertaining that as well but yeah again I don't know and that's gonna need a lot of wood which I'm not happy about but yeah again it is what it is I keep saying it I just need to go and do it that's all it's just one of them one of them one job at a time and this is more important getting the biogas thing up and operational getting another auger would be again fantastic so let me walk to here because I don't trust myself with it. Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'll stop with the chit chat now. I'll just bring you back when we're at the warehouse. Okay, I know I just said I was going to stop with the chit chat, but my God, look at the numbers of zombies around here. What is going on with this crossroads? Look at them all. There's a big group there on edge. Do you see them? Look at that. My God. 
So many. Oh, there's a taxi as well, though. Ooh, pretty nice. Might add that to the collection one day. But look at it. Look at the state of them. It's going all janky because there's that many. And the character's just having crazy panic. I'm surprised it's not had a heart attack. Honestly, the amount that she gets panicked. But yeah. Eesh. This is... Where are we? Let's, let's double check the map. Gosh, we're here. That's coming on halfway. Oh, no, really. Definitely not going to have enough wood. Uh, I think I'm just going to call this episode Fail Bridge at this point. <laughs> I'm going to run out of time before I complete it. But again, it is a big project. A very big project. I mean, I'm happy we've made it this far, but yeah. Yeah. Let's see how we go. I think I might pull my uh, editing software up on the other screen <laughs> and have a look and see how the uh, how the recording's coming on because everything's so clipped today that I don't know how long I've actually been recording. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, I hate chopping wood. I really do. It takes forever. And I've been around the corpses and the kill zone for too long. Now I'm getting corpse sickness, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, 14 lumber stacks, 14 pallets of lumber. If I was to unpack one of those, I could make some more pallets. So I'm going to make three of those. Then I need to change rope into thick rope if I have any spare. Yes, I do. So, make some thick ropes. There we go. Oh, no. I made the wrong type. Make thick rope. There we go. Thankfully, all ropes are interchangeable like that. But now I can make three more pallets worth, which is fantastic. So, that's 17 pallets. Oh, blimey neck. Right. Get this in both hands. Where's the lumber? Here's the lumber. Pallets. We can take 16 of them. Wow. I didn't realise it were that many. Okay, so we can't fit on another lumber stack, no. But we can unpack one of them and put the excess planks in there. And then put some in our character as well. That gives us a very heavy load, which is fair dues, whatever. Um don't understand what's going on with these cabbages. That's ready, because I planted them first. But these just don't seem to be going quite right. Anyway, let's, uh, let's unpack our lumber there. I uh, need to remove that rope. Then drop our fault left. There we go. And it's character rest time, definitely. Definitely rest time. Oh, I hate chopping wood. I really do. I'm sick of it now because it puts me on edge because obviously you can't see if zombies are coming or anything like that and it just oh it, ugh, it gets me I'm sick of doing it but I need more need more wood always need wood I'm just hoping that the other base um we can get like a, a mini forest going on within the compound that would be absolutely fantastic honestly um right let me inspect these corpses before we do anything else uh, corpses crops before we do anything else they are on growth stage four is this on six yes it's on six right that's the problem with cabbages they just take so long so so long but yeah we've got all this odd meat to get rid of which is all the zombies i've processed i've kind of stopped doing it now because it's silly the amount we get and how long it takes to compost them down and plus I am actually out of sacks look 96 bags of compost and then a, a normal bag of compost and one empty sack and then I moved all the pet stuff into there instead of it being in this box here this is just plant stuff now oh, like I say we are skill locked with farming we need farming level 7 as soon as possible so I might just nurture uh, nurture these for a little bit and hopefully 
they will be done relatively soon. Then, yeah, back to building. Ugh. Oh, I don't get what's wrong with me today. I'm just absolutely hammering the character. Why? I need to look after her. Anyway, we uh, we caught a cougar and we caught a lot of deers and we got some deer antlers. So what do you do with them? Smelling salts. Very nice. Or taxidermia jackalope. Wonderful. Uh, cougar hide. What do we do? Just dry it and then process it, I'm guessing. Right, that can come inside. That can come inside. So we know antlers are a medical thing. So we can do those in the corner cupboard in here. So at least they've got a place. Get that scrand, chuck them in there. Then we want to dry this cougar hide. And can we do anything else with it? No. Oh, right. Okay. So cut dried fur and then usual thing. And dry the hides for the deer. I just did one. I should have done them all. There we go. That's them done. And yeah, just cut dry fur again. Okay. Let's do that. And that's 66 ready to be processed. Wow. Yeah, for limed hides, but I haven't made any more milk of lime because I've got 14 hard leather and 97 normal leather. So I kind of been neglecting that. And where's the cut dry the dried fur? We've got 242 in reserve. Yeah, that's from all them cows. Just absolutely smashing everything. And then look at uh cooked bone marrow. Bone marrow, bone marrow, and then in there we've just got all the beetles and whatever. But yeah, lots of the bone marrow, fantastic food. Then we've got 102 bones on the floor as well, just just randomly. It's it's ridiculous, really, really ridiculous. So just waiting for these stupid cabbages now. And I think we're good to continue building the bridge. But by the time I've done that, I think it'll be the end of the episode, so yeah. Oh, these are seed bearing now. So I will harvest those. Harvest. Lovely. Right. Also, they uh, they retain the stuff, I believe. Yeah, they retain the water and whatever. It's instantly got pest flies. What? Why? Oh, no. Uh, have I got... A spray. Yes, I have. Grab one of those. There we go. Then right click. Treat problem. Pest flies. I I haven't got enough in the bottle to to do anything with it. Great. Let's take the other one then. Right. Let's try it again. Okay. Treat problem. Pest flies. Five percent. Boom. Gone. Let's check the info on the other ones. Because I don't know how you do the mildew one or the other thing, the devil's water fungus. Don't know how you get rid of those. Honestly. Um, yeah. It's not even giving me an option to treat the problem, which is annoying. But hey-ho. Right. Aha. The other one was in my inventory. Uh, in my hand, even. Right, there we go. Put those sprays back away. And yeah, carry on just waiting for the rest. In fact, let's just double check. What is our skill on at the moment? Where are we? Farming. We're on 2,100. So that gave us 100 experience for harvesting that thing. Which is about the same as carrots. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I do carrots now. Fire a load of those down. Maybe. Because they grow fast. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick some carrots down. Try and get some more crop in. Try and get farming seven today as well. But I'm getting a bit short on time, so I don't know. Um, hmm. Might just have to call it, honestly. Today's episode has been a fail bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to have to call it, fail bridge for now. But we will continue with it in the next episode. Like I say, I want in to that warehouse no matter the cost I want the warehouse 
We can have that as a north base eventually when we get a bit more confident and whatnot. But honestly, with this sword, with this armor, I feel pretty fierce. Honestly, it's pretty good. I feel like a real Viking. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. That's going to be it for this episode. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Sorry, again, it's all been cut, chop, whatnot. Nobody wants to see me just lay wood floors for nearly an hour or whatever. So, yeah, don't forget to take care of yourselves. I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, Beef, you're an idiot. Why didn't you just do carrots or radishes? They're the fastest growing crops. We just want experience. It doesn't matter about what crop we get. We've got an abundance of food. We don't need cabbages for their fat content. <sighs> Bye.